I get up at 4.30. We leave our house around 5. We leave home around 4.30. This is a fairly typical Amish or Pennsylvania Dutch market. The families that work here, many of them live in Lancaster County, which is about an hour, hour and a half from here. And so, you know, they're waking up at 4 a.m. and they are uh, getting in a van. It's transporting them to this market. And uh, often with, with the family, you'll have, you know, the owner and his wife and, and children will often work together in the business as well. Uh, the farm was a place where uh, families could work together, and that's something that the Amish value very much. And, and by opening and running these businesses, they've been able to replicate that. I have the uh, produce stand, Blake's Produce, Sarah's Jar Goods, and Bird and Hand Bulk Foods. My main occupation here is the sheds, gazebos, outside. And my wife takes care of the food stands in here. I think just when you when you first meet the Amish, some of the misconceptions you have sort of start to fade away because if you take a look at the you know, the, the wrapping, you know, the packaging is sort of different with the you know the beards and the plain clothes and so forth. But but underneath, you know, a lot of the things are, are the same. There you go. Alrighty. I've uh, co co-authored a paper with a, a, a couple of professors, Donald Crable and Stephen Nolt, here at local college, uh, and. Um, that examines the success rate and the original study found that Amish businesses uh, succeed over 90 uh, percent of the time over, over a five-year period. We've had this bakery for nine years. So we had a daughter that worked for another bakery at a market and then this market uh, opened so we came in here and we had the choice of having a bakery, so we just picked out our spot and we started from scratch. The first day I made 11 shoe fly pies and I thought, wow, now I'm done for the week. And they all sold that day. I was like, again, the next day I made more. There's an emphasis on humility and being a humble leader. And I think that has a lot to do with the longevity and the productivity that Amish managers get out of their employees. Of course you will. What we try to do here is we try to provide a quality product at a reasonable price. And we want to give the customers an experience that goes a little beyond spending money. So, I mean, if you enjoy what you're doing, that certainly creates an atmosphere that is conducive to, to successful sales. Okay. That's not a problem. No problem at all.